everyone, my name is Faye and you're watching Mystery Date with a Book. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the five books I want to read by the end of the year. Simple enough. Because I've, I've had this TBR, like my TBR is all over my bookshelves, like I know which books I've read and which ones I haven't. But there are certain books I would like to read before the end of the year. We still have September, October, November. We have four months left, <laughs> so I better get on with it. Um, okay, we're gonna dive right in. First book I want to read is Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Now this is a fantasy book that a lot of people have told me to read. Like quite a few people have said, you have to read this book. You have to read this book, it's so good. Well, not just this book, but the whole series. Um, I've never read anything by Brandon Brandon Sanderson. I can never say his name right. I'm really bad with names, if you haven't noticed. If you haven't noticed, then you're probably new here. Hi, subscribe. Okay, so um, I've never read anything by Brandon Sanderson before, but I'm, I'm really excited to have a go at it. Uh, yeah, I think it's about... I think this book is about um, a land where people eat metal and then they get powers from those metals something like that I can't remember now but yes it, it just sounds interesting it sounds something a bit different from what I usually read so yeah I'm looking forward to this Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson okay now the second book I really want to read I don't have a copy of it yet but I will get to it by the end of the year and that is Sweet Pea by, there are two letters, C, K, C, J, something, Scoos. Anyway, Sweet Pea, it is a thriller or mystery, I'm not sure. It's about this woman who, if she doesn't like someone, she'll put them on her kill list and then she goes and kills them, something like that. I don't know, I don't remember it right now, but I know it's a really good story. It's getting very popular on booktube right now, and that's not why I want to read it. it. It just sounds really good. Um, I've seen reviews from Kat at Brisbane Reviews, she said it was really good. I've heard Victoria from What Victoria Reads, is that her channeling? I'm gonna leave a link down below anyway. Um, I've just found her channel and she is just really good as well. She said it was really good. Uh, so, you know, I've been getting all these reviews saying that Sweet Pea is really, really good. So, I want to take a look at it myself and see what I think about it. So, Sweet Pea by Something Something Scoos. <laughs> okay, next book is The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that this is a brilliant, brilliant series as well. I don't know if it's a duology or a trilogy right now, but I know it's it's more than one book. It's part of a series. And it's about this orphan who is raised by a con artist and then he becomes this really big thief. And then he, he kind of messes with a bigger criminal in the underworld where, where, where they live. And I don't, it just sounds very interesting. It, it's giving me Six of Crows vibes, in a way, you know, that underworld with all the criminals and, you know, fights against gangs and I don't know, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, but I've been told that this is really, really good. So I'm looking forward to reading this one as well by the end of the year. Okay, now the next one, I've tried reading it for the new Readathon. If you haven't seen my new Readathon vlogs, go and check it out. And, um, but it just wasn't flowing. I was struggling with the writing style, but I want to give it a second chance because people say it's really good, it's worth it. So I want to give Circe by Madeline Miller another try. I really like the cover, it's beautiful, but the writing style, it, it's a bit dry for me. It, it doesn't flow nicely. It's, it's hard to explain, but you can tell that she's a teacher and not an author, like you can tell. She will give you fact after fact after fact. She, it's, it's not a nice flow of 
story. I, d I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a different style of writing. I'm not used to it. That's all. But I want to give it a go. Like, y you can see I've started it. I've read a little bit of it. But then when Cersei gets exiled, I just lost interest. I don't know why. Um, and then, <laughs> supposedly, you know, uh, that's supposed to be when the story really starts and it gets interesting, but uh, no. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give this a second try. We'll see if I get to finish this by the end of the year. I really want to because I like mythology. I like all that sort of story, but we'll see. This is no Percy Jackson, people. This is no Percy Jackson. Okay, now another book I want to give a second chance to is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Now, this is the start of a really long series. <laughs> I think Brandon, Brandon Sanderson finished it, I think. He did. He wrote the last two books or something. I'm not quite sure. But apparently this is really, really good. A lot of people have been telling me recently that I have to read it. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, yeah. I think somebody's making a series out of this. Like a TV series, not a book series. <laughs> uh, I think I've heard something about that. So... I'm looking forward to reading the book before watching the TV series. I need to figure out who's doing the series, if, it, if it's Netflix or Amazon or like someone on TV. I don't know. I don't know, but I heard something. I have it in my head somewhere that somebody's doing a TV series about this. I could be completely wrong, but oh well. So those are the five books I want to read by the end of the year. Hopefully I get to read all of them. There are other books I want to read as well. Uh, right now I'm reading, let me go get it for you. Right now I'm reading Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. It's the third book in the Alumni Files trilogy and oh my goodness, I'm loving this. I stayed up late last night reading this and like I read quite a chunk of it. I only have this little bit left. I'm going to finish this today. It's so good. I might do a review on the whole trilogy when I finish this because it's just so good. I need to talk about it. <laughs> Have you read Obsidio? Have you read any of the Illuminate Files books? If you haven't, what do you do with your life? Go read them. It's so good. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> so that's it. If you like this video, click that thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell, leave a comment. You know what to do. You've been here before. So yes, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.